What up everybody, it's your girl July from Kickback Couture and today I'm going to be talking about the Delta MIDI computer. I was asked on Instagram if I was going to cover it and I had originally said no because I don't see that it does anything different than any other player. I don't want to showcase anything that doesn't bring anything new to the table but I'm here to openly admit, admit that I was wrong and it does definitely bring new things to the table given the end user. So here is my original MIDI clip that I will be working with. If you want to get this MIDI clip you can get it from the Drenched by Design kit that is where it came from on my website. Now let's jump into the rack. This is the Delta MIDI computer. Now at first glance it doesn't look like it's you probably don't know what, what you're looking at, which is understandable because when I saw it, I kind of knew what I was looking at, but I kind of didn't. So this is a flow graph, this area here that we're looking at, and we can control the flow of each MIDI event within this Delta MIDI computer. So, for example, let's say I wanted to humanize my melody. What I can do is create something it's called a node in here so if I go to velocity offset velocity random I can allow the Delta MIDI computer to randomly offset the velocity of each of my MIDI events each note that is played let's go ahead and decrease the, the range that we're offsetting it by So I've now successfully humanized the velocities of my patch, of my MIDI clip, I mean. Another thing that we can do with this is, actually, options are kind of infinite. It's how far can you think into what you might want to do. So if I want to strum this, it's definitely really easy, incredibly easy. I believe there is a preset patch for it if you wanted to strum Yes, you could use strum medium, but I'm going to create my own for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm going to go to flow and I'm going to click sequence, sequential switch. I'm going to take my offset velocity and put it into the sequential, sequential, I can't say that word, the sequential switch, seek switch. And the first one, I'm going to put it into the output. I'm then going to create two more nodes using the delay nodes and um, I can actually just command click to duplicate it so I'm going to do that this is going to come here this will come here whoops I actually actually have four steps so I'll just decrease that to three take that take that take that diddy style put that back whoops put that in there all right cool we're good so now if I play a three note chord it's not ready yet, so I have to go into delay and turn off these. I thought it was ready, but I forgot. I skipped a whole bunch of steps in my head. All right, we're going to put this on 90. We're going to turn these off, count on one, and I'm going to put this on something above 90, so about 120. So what we see happening in this patch, the first sequencer, the first step in the sequencer is going out to the output. That is the original bottom, like, root note. So that's going to be the first note that we're playing. The second note is going to be delayed by 90 milliseconds. The third note is going to be delayed by 120, second, 20, 120 milliseconds. So we can easily add more to this if we would like to. But I'm just going to be playing with three note chords. And you can hear that strum. We can make it more pronounced if we would like to. Let's move this up to 110. Move this up to like 200. Really easy to get ideas going. Now, if we wanted to use this for something like, uh, let's say, a music theory helper similar to scales and chords, we can do that as well using the note transpose chord generator, set notes, trans, uh, anything is possible 
any player that you have in reason, you can mimic the exact same things in Delta, putting everything into one focus point so that you don't have to veer off and set up something else in a different player. Everything is possible right here in the Delta MIDI computer. So let's go ahead and go through some of the presets we have. We have an arpeggiator major 7's arpeggiator, so I'm going to play this. This is one note I'm playing now. So I can come in and edit this myself if I want to, so I say I don't want plus 3 because I want minor. I'm going to change this to say I don't want plus 4 because I don't want major and I want minor. I'm going to change this to plus 3. Very simple process. I can hold down shift to move around this flow graph and just a side note on the back it tells you all of the hotkeys that you can press to get around in Delta and there are also eight CV output channels that you can utilize. Really easy to sound like Beethoven or Bach just like that you know so we have Basics, transpose up an octave, random transpose, two octaves, set notes, uh, four note, quarter delay, 50% chance, ignore note. So if I use this, when I press the button, it's a 50% chance it's not. When I press the keys, it's a 50% chance that it's not going to go through. Alright, we got some combinators as well. Or nah. Nothing showing up in the drop down. Let's X out of this. Awesome. And acid bass, banjo, strum, chime drop. Let's see what we can get with this. Let's go ahead and turn this off. What's inside of here? Well, looks like we got our input going into set velocity so our set velocity is 127 transpose is plus 36 we got a chord generator the transpose is being set, sent through a delay and then we're going to the output so it's repeating the notes and okay yeah pretty interesting <laughs> all right now jumping back into the possibilities of Delta. You can go through the presets on your own. So within the nodes, we also have some pretty unique things that, that we can utilize. You may not know what it means right off bat. So we did talk about we did talk about the delays and what we can use those for. We can use it as a note repeat. We can offset velocity. We can do that randomly or we can do that by a specific value we can set the velocity by a set value and not have it offset and as for nose we knows as for note we can transpose transpose random which you've seen in a few of the patches we just looked at set note quantize notes and this will help you with uh, making your melodies fit the mold of a particular scale that you choose. So if I click on here, you'll see what that looks like. Key scale, uh, we could change it to D minor if we would like to. Let's go, well, a minor is Aeolian. So if you don't know that, there you go. It says it for you. Awesome. And you can also make your own custom scales. If the scale that you want is not included, you can easily add it. But we even have Spanish skills skills in here, so that's pretty dope. All right, now I'll just go through the rest of them, show you what it looks like. Transpose, this will change your note to whatever you want it to change to. So I'm just going to reset this device one more time, and I'm going to grab transpose. All right, if I route this through the transpose node, back to the output, transpose, I'm um, hitting C3. Whoops, I need to have this selected. Transpose, we'll transpose it up to whatever you set it to. Now that's too high, so we're coming down. 
up two octaves plus 24. Now I can easily get rid of that. Bring it back. All right. Transpose random. This will randomly transpose, transpose your note. So if I drag this out and I'm hitting the same key over and over again. Now let's say I want this to fit a scale. In order to do that, I'm going to use quantize note. I'm going to take the output of the transpose random and put it into whoa, the quantize note node and then that back into the output. And let's go ahead and set this to D. Let's go with Spanish. Really simple, and I'm just pressing one note right now, which is C. Really easy to come up with something dope. Now, let's say I want to use some chords. I'm going to take this transpose random, put it into chord, and then put the chord generator back into the quantize node. We can easily keep this organized. Now on quantize note, or sorry, the chord generator, it is defaulting to major. So I would like to turn that to minor. And it really doesn't matter what we play, regardless of the chord and how it's supposed to be spelled, the quantized note will move it to the nearest note that fits our scale. Now we can even turn off random. I'm just going to hold alt and click it. And now when I press my notes, we are in D minor. Now when I press my notes, it's not random and I can create a chord progression. The only thing I skipped was set note. Set note allows you to set a note no matter what is triggered on your MIDI keyboard. That note will be whatever you set the note to. So let's say I want to play an G3. No matter what I, no matter what I touch, this is middle C. This is C2. This is C1. So no matter what key I press, it's outputting as a G3. So that's what set note is. Velocity. We talked about offset velocity, random velocity, set velocity, time delay. You can use that as a note repeat, like uh, the note player that we have that comes in reason, no echo. So let's alt click this and we can get this going in here and this going here. Whoops. As many as we want. Manual stop means we have to stop it manually. Now, in order to stop it manually, I have no idea what you're supposed to do but I did delete it. We can try to figure that out. Uh, time delay, uh, probably, probably one of those up there. Let's see. Okay, so I think just connecting it would work. Or not. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Besides infinite amounts of no echoes, we do have tempo sync here, and which you can change this to milliseconds, which you've seen us do when we did the strum, play dry even, um, per delay, so we can transpose it for each time it delays. So this is C3. So let's go ahead and move this up to plus two. 
and we can change the velocity. Now these are both cumulative knobs, so if it goes up two one time, it's going to go up two more the next time, and so on. Alright, really similar to the no echo, this delay function in which you have access to all of these things here. Now flow is a little bit more, it allows you to do more. So the chance switch, this allows randomization. So here I can have something, give something a 50% a chance or, you know, whatever the case may be. So use this to randomize between different events. Next we have the sequence switch which you've seen me use in the strumming example I did. You don't have to use this with only delays, you can use this with anything. You can use it with a transpose and then have it go down to a, a delay and then have it go down to a chord generator. So if I reset this patch, go to flow, add a sequence switch, Whoops, let's put this here. Let's have this go straight to the output and we could change the pattern of the sequence switch forward, reverse, pendulum one, two, back to forward. We could change the amount of steps up to eight. So let's go ahead and go with four steps. I'm going to add a delay here. Next, I want to add an if switch. And if switch allows us to, the best way to explain an if switch is if the MIDI note is greater than whatever we set it to, the velocity, not, not just the MIDI note, you can do velocity, note name, MIDI number. If whatever that value you set is greater than whatever value you set, So let's take this sequence here, put it into here, and I'm going to send this to our output. And then as a secondary event, if it is less than, we will send it to transpose. And our transpose will be up an octave, right? So let's send that out, then we'll send that to the output. Let's put this up plus 12 all right um, all right so if our value is greater than C3 which is up here then it will go straight to the output if it's less than it will be transposed up an octave so I'm playing uh, the C below middle C right now, so C2. So if I turn this off, oh, I need to turn this off or delete that. So this is middle C. Turning this back on, it transposed it up in the sequential switch, sequential switch. So let's send this delay to the output. So this delay will make it repeat 12 times. Perfect. So sky's the limit with that. You can get some really weird things for generative type beats, music, whatever, however you would like to describe that. Lastly, we have utilities. We have a merger and a splitter. A merger splitter. We have CV output, and when you wherever you send this, it will be controlled by one of these relative channels, one through eight, as you see. And lastly, we have set seed. 
set seed allows you to sequence your randomization so rather than having a whole bunch of craziness going on you can take a portion of that randomness and have that loop that's the best way to explain that so in all that is the craziness of delta midi computer you can do some incredible things with the delta midi computer it is all up to your imagination so i had only things that i skipped in this was the copy and paste button which you can use these hotkeys to do a lot of those we do have this hide note editor in which you can hide this use shift to drag around the flow graph you get up to 90 nodes this is the setting menu this is relevant to the grid scale and how you would like it to snap to the grid our nodes to snap to the grid if we turn it off it'll move anywhere all right grid scale stop all on playback jump this is our midi map it will easily drag us to wherever we would like to be within our flow graph you see everything i did is positioned here so i turn this off whoops I turn this off and then i can easily hide this i would say that if you are the type of music creator that uses presets for everything and you like the, the idea of having a 15 minute beat you don't want to experiment with things you just want everything laid out you just want to pump beats out i would definitely say that delta midi computer is not for you however if you'd like to take time on your compositions experiment with new things and you love using players or even if you hate players i would definitely say you should try this out it is definitely worth to try it is worth your time and it's worth your experimentation to see what you can come up with. So if you like this video, give it a like. Definitely let me know what you would like to see next. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Both accounts on Instagram would be great as I have lots of opportunities for you all coming up. It's all culture, kickback, and cookout.